Hi everybody, Kirsten here from Beyond High C, and I am so excited because I get to bring to you today a colleague of mine who is a certified speech language pathologist. And I tell you often on this channel that I'm not a speech therapist, but I have the great pleasure and opportunity to communicate with many and a growing number of speech therapists who uh, can inform the kinds of things that we do. And so I'm excited that she's about to come on and remind you about neuroplasticity and what it means for you in your recovery and in your strategy and your plan to help yourself make progress with your speech and with your cognition. So I hope you enjoy and I hope you will visit her website, which is linked in the description below. And especially if you are in the States of Maryland or Virginia, she has a therapy practice in person and online serving Maryland and Virginia. And I think you'll get some really good benefit out of what she's about to say about neuroplasticity. Thanks, Kirsten. Hi, my name is Jessie Parker, and I'm a speech language pathologist and owner of Adult Speech Therapy Services. I have over 17 years of experience treating adults with neurogenic or brain-related communication and cognitive deficits. Oftentimes those deficits are caused by medical diagnoses like a stroke, a brain injury, or Parkinson's or dementia. During my experience, I've learned to help people heal their brains. You may be wondering how I do that because I'm not a doctor. I don't prescribe medications. I don't heal wounds. Instead, I take advantage of the principles of neuroplasticity to help my patients heal. Now, you may be wondering, what exactly is neuroplasticity? Well, I'm gonna answer that question for you. Neuroplasticity is your brain's ability to heal and reorganize itself in response to an injury. It's because of neuroplasticity really that I have a job, that I can help people speed up the recovery process or heal their brains even in the midst of a degenerative disease like dementia. It's important to note that there are several principles or rules of neuroplasticity that we apply to our treatment. For example, we know that in order to promote neuroplasticity, people need lots and lots of practice. Repetition matters and intensity matters. It's for that reason that I always take time with my clients to develop a home practice program so that they learn how to continue to practice their language and cognitive skills even when we're not in person in, during our session or online as well. So that repetition and rehearsal definitely matters to promote brain healing. Another principle of neuroplasticity is that salience matters. In this case, salience refers to what is important to you. So I always take a lot of time to get to know my clients, to get their, to know their interests and their goals for treatment so that I can apply those interests to the treatment activities that we use during our sessions and for home practice. So the take home message here is that regardless of your age, regardless of di your diagnosis, your brain can grow change and reorganize. And one of the ways we do that is by understanding the principles or rules for neuroplasticity. So that makes it even more important for those folks who are no longer receiving one-on-one -on -one therapy treatment with a speech pathologist. It makes it more important than ever for you to continue to practice your language or your thinking skills. So that may mean continuing to participate in activities that you enjoy, like crocheting or crossword puzzles, even if it means you have to modify the activity a little bit to make it a little easier. It's still important that you engage in those tasks. 
It's also important for those with aphasia or other difficulties with communication or speech for you to continue to communicate. So it may be um, possible for you to find ways to engage with others. One idea is Kirsten's wonderful program, Beyond High C, which gives you an outlet to have conversations with people, to engage in activities that you enjoy. So thanks so much for taking the time to listen today. I really do just want to encourage you to keep working toward your goals and know that your brain will respond to practice. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you were reminded of why practice, practice, practice works, and why it's so important to do the things that you enjoy. I hope you will go and check out Jesse's website, especially if you're in Maryland or Virginia looking for speech therapy. I'm so excited that you're here on this channel. I will very much look forward to seeing you in the next video. I hope you're subscribed, and we'll see you soon.